Yo guys, let's talk about how to hide files within Windows. So I'm sure you know all the basic way to hide files, either by going to your file explorer and making it hidden, or open up command prompt and just changing the attributes. Those are all very easy, but for this video, I want to show you a more advanced way to hide files. Now, I'm sure only programmers probably know how to do this. This is not something that the average person will come across, but it's very, very cool. So you can hide files on Windows by using an alternate data stream for your folders. Essentially, you make a folder that's a different data stream than a file. It doesn't show up in your file explorer, but you can still navigate to that data stream and put files in there. It's very cool. If none of that made sense to you, don't worry because I'm gonna walk you through how we're gonna do this. It's gonna make sense once you see the implementation, but it's still a very cool thing to do. So let's check it out. Okay guys, so let me try to explain this as best as I can. So right now I'm in this folder and you see I have this file called hello. Uh, it's a normal file, it's not hidden. Then I have this folder above it. Now it's a folder with three dots, three ellipses. So watch this, if I go inside this folder, I'm basically at the same place, except that the directory went down, or it looked like it went down one level. So I can keep going, and you'll see I get in a basic recursion where it's like I'm always at this folder, even though it's adding more parent directories um, in my navigation at the top. So you might think this is a bug, and you might wonder, well, is there anything in this folder? Like, what's happening? So here's where the magic comes in. Let me go and open up command prompt. Okay, so pulling over command prompt here, you see I'm in my test directory. If I do a dir, you see there is uh, three locations. We have the normal um, current directory, we can go up one level to parent directory, then we have this hidden directory, and that's what we see the three dots. Now, if I do cd dot, I don't really go anywhere, I stay right there. But if I do cd three ellipses backslash, another three ellipses backslash I'm inside of that hidden directory now within this directory if I do a dir you see I have a file called world.txt and if I just show the file I see the file contains hello world and then I can create a new file I don't know we'll call it dave.txt uh, and I spelled echo wrong. If I spell that correctly, there we go. And then now you see I have a new file, dave.txt. So essentially, I created this hidden file in a directory that doesn't seem to exist. The only way you can access this is through command prompt. Now, I could put anything in here. I can put executables, video files, pictures, um, and, and these should all be reachable by whatever program. I just can't reach it through Windows Explorer. So if you're wondering how I did this, I'll link the article for the full in-depth like technical explanation, but here's basically an abridged version. There's these things called data streams for your files. Now it's really cool. By default, every file on Windows, when it gets stored in an NTFS drive, it has a data stream attached. So let's just go back and look at uh, this directory to show you here. So if I go back, let me just go back to my parent directory and do CLS. Um, now, if I do dir dash r, you'll just see, you know, there's the file, nothing else is attached. Now, if I go up to my directory, and let's go up one more time, and let's cd downloads. Now, let me do dir dash r. All right, you'll see that these files, they have something attached to them. They have this zone identifier, and then they have data. So, every file has three parts to it. It has a file name with a stream name and a type. Now, in Windows Explorer, you don't see all that information because it'll be very confusing to look at. Now, your stream name, Windows can fill in your stream name with other information. So if you download something from the web, it'll often have this zone identifier stream name attached. By default, all the files have a default type of data. Now, for our little hack, what we did was we use another type called index allocation, which is basically the type for a directory. Now, again, Windows Explorer, the GUI is not going to show that. But what we could do is create that. So let me go back and try to go to documents here and we'll redo this. Okay, so let's start off with trying to create this hidden directory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, use, uh, let's do echo, we'll say hello 
YouTube, and we'll pipe it to this hidden directory. So three dots, two colons, dollar sign, index, allocation. Hopefully I spelled that right. Yeah, that looks right. YouTube, hello YouTube, index allocation, and enter. Okay, so it's going to tell me it's an incorrect function, but let's see if it created something. Perfect. So it created us this hidden directory, this triple dots. Now, again, you can't just do the three things to access it. You have to do this weird um, three dots backslash and our three dots backslash. Oh, there we go. Let's add a backslash. And now we're inside the hidden directory. Now in this hidden directory, I can create whatever I want to create. Um, so I don't have touch command on. No, do not have touch on here. So I have to use echo again. So echo um, another file and do output. I don't know. I can actually let's put a program here. Let's do echo. Can I do an echo? Echo. Hello, world. And let's echo that. All right. And there we go. So we created the output that that file. So guys, there you have it. That is how you can hide files within Windows. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go and hit that bell icon so you know when I upload new videos. Ring that bell, hit the subscribe button, like this video, comment it, and feel free to share it. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.